Morning. We've got nice clear skies, maybe a bit of cloud coming in over the hills. Looking like it might be a, a nice autumnal day today. Um, my dad's been ploughing yesterday. I don't think it'll get right for drilling, but you never know. It might, uh, the sun might shine a bit more. Ash might come, we might get the power on and we, uh, we might get drilling. I've got some wood to chop, cattle to feed and all that business. So stay tuned. There's no Andy today, so I will be jumping on the straw blower and getting that job done. There it is, it's taking the paint off in the uh, fan at the back there. Bit of band on as well, probably get that off a bit later. Why do it later? Let's get off now. It's done, isn't it? This is like a mirror in here. Really shiny. Um, yes, yeah, so it wraps around and then it could wrap around a bearing or something like that, so we don't want that. We'll get it pulled out. It's quite hard though. <laughs> Two minutes and it's done. Remember to like and subscribe if you like this farming content, tractors, cows, all that business. It really helps the channel out. Cheers, guys. Oh, so we're in the cab of the 130 now. Fire her up. Everything starts loading. And we should be able to go. Normal gearbox. The best reliability. Uh oh, I thought I'd got that one in there. Clearly not. You'd get it in eventually. Took one more attempt actually. I'm going to say I'm a pro, but I wouldn't have left it like that, would I, if I was a pro? Um, it's just a bit hard to see, as you can maybe look through that window. Can't really see from my mirrors. So it's just a bit of a guessing game. So we're here blasting strawing again. Why is it not coming out? I've lost. Oh, my John Deere screen still loading, look. I think that's why. Stop the oil flow. Let's see how this continues to load. Mm, great stuff! I think we've nearly got there. Oh, we're back on business. Don't be wrong, I absolutely love technology. Like, it's my thing. Like, I made that GPS. Um, I do social media. Like, Technology is my thing, but it needs to be reliable. And like having that thinking for the first five minutes of your working day is very frustrating. Because you might want to see, oh, I need to know that my PTO speed is definitely at 540, or I need to just check the temperature of my oil, or the speed that I'm tracking. No speed, actually, we can we can do it on there, but. Um, yeah, like setting up these bits. Like, oh, I want it on constant pumping or something like that. Can't do it without that screen. Whereas the older John Deere's, when they did start implementing technology, at least it did work. All of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> we can see that the top bales, you can see it's a darker colour than these. They're um, starting to weather a little bit. It's only a bit though. I mean, Get that off and it is it's just a few centimetres at the minute. Uh, we have got some stuff growing in it though. Um, this looks like wheat straw. So maybe we've got some wheat growing there. Now I've just jumped on a TM because uh, we need to do a mix. I've also got a bit of um, a bit more straw to put in the pens and that. Uh, my dad's friend Steve's here. Come to see us. Just getting these guys strawed up. It's time to tip off the bricks. Getting the last few bits of it out now. I'll have to put it into the high box and just give it a bit more throwing power. Just feeding these guys. 
guys out here. Some of these are getting fairly fit. Up nice now. Steve's just opening the gates for my dad. I'll jump on this nine meter and we'll go fill the mixer up up there. There it is. Yeah, I'll get a premix done. Feeding and premixes done and stuff like that. So I think it's about time I had a coffee. It's late now, it's like 11 o'clock. Um, I've got my bike to pick up for my brothers as well. Left it there when you can remember. Anybody remember when I had the four foot kebab? Well, this, my bike has been at his house since then, and that was like many moons ago. Uh, and he wants to get some wood in his garage or something, so he wants to bag it bike out, so off in the pickup to pick that up. Here he is, Mr. Axeman. That looks a nice axe, actually, that one. Pixeling. That one looks a bit like a combat axe or something. This? Yeah, looks a bit like you might buy it in an army surplus store or something. Rough neck, it's all around. Hmm. What wood's this? Softwood. Mm. Chop a bit up for me then. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to be a copycat now and I'm going to chop some wood as well. Uh, I've got 20 minutes before dinner, so get a 20 minute uh, wood chopping exercise in. Yeah? Um, we'll forget that I had that curry last night and those beers. I'm doing 20 minutes of exercise, so job will be a good one. Dinner finished, and now I'm gonna put this on top of that pole behind me. Hopefully it fits, because, um, yeah, we'll see if my welding was any good, won't we? It doesn't fit because it's like a corner and I've had to weld into the corner, so it's not quite a corner anymore. It's got like a rounded edge, but it will fit. I'll make it. Because I've got nobody here, I'm gonna have to use my tripod Set it up on there to get a shot of me just hammering it. It's a Sunday and I can mess about doing stuff like this. You get to see me hammering it. Here we go. Well, that's where the mark is, where uh, the vault's been sat before. So I just need to tighten that up now, and then uh, we're good. Do you appreciate the hammering shot? I don't know. It was a lot of effort. Well, not a lot really, but anyway, that's YouTube. What I might look at doing now is putting Ag Open GPS onto this tractor. Maybe not necessarily straight away into steering it, but just the screen in the tractor, the antenna on the roof. One, just to show people how to do it if you want to know um and two because like when we're doing sort of like grass turning and um things like that just be nice to be able to actually just see it on the screen and then if we want to we can always add the steering to it at a later date um or if we're fertilizing i think i'm gonna use this tractor for on the fertilizer spread a bit more this year um so we're gonna put the wiring loom in for that and um it'd be nice to just be able to see where we've actually been with it and yeah so i might look at getting my proper holder into this one because i know andy's he wants his tractor to look perfect and everything and i have got a proper holder for it not an ad blue can i might just have a look at bolting it onto this side pillar in the cab this is the tablet holder that i bought ages ago um yeah must be like last year or something i think like 50 quid and I thought it's not as good as the Ad Blue holder, so I never put it in. But uh, I ain't got any Ad Blue cans, and I know Andy will have a fit if I put an Ad Blue can in his tractor. So um, yeah, better just make a bracket for this to hold on to. So it's got four like little balls I need to put into something metal and then onto a 17 mil nut, and then we should be able to get it in that tractor. So that's my plan now. I have Hillbilly made a bracket for said tablet holder now let's fit it in the cab and see what she looks like there we go look business so yeah my, i'll buy another tablet fit in there about 150 quid i think it's about 250 quid for the antenna and then we've got um 
not full RTK, obviously we just got it on the screen, so we'll be using like a light bar. But it will to be be to an RTK signal, so the accuracy will be there on screen. But it's just how accurate the driver can drive it to it. Um, so yeah, check that out. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do, because... I've just thought about it today. I've got to order the parts, get them delivered. And, you know, some of them come from far away, some of them next day delivery. So, um, yeah, or maybe over the Sundays, I will try and get this um, piece together and just show you how we make it. Part, part, fat. The hardest parts I find, um, personally, are the fabricating bits because I'm not really... A, I can weld, but I'm not brilliant at welding. And I often, like, I'll put something together and then the measurements will be slightly off and yeah i'm not that that's not my area of expertise but um but yeah now once i've done it once it gets a little bit easier so yeah we'll uh, we'll crack on with that i think over the uh, next few weeks which will be uh, yeah interesting for some people absolutely dead boring for others so um let me know in the comments which side of the fence you'll be on oh no here we go been forever finding the key for this because for some reason it locks the tablet onto this that you could just pull out of the tractor anyway and the tablet's not worth anything to be really worth stealing like if you can buy one on ebay for like 100 and some quid like what somebody who steals it going to be able to sell it for not really not worth messing about with uh, which is one of the good reasons as well why i like i go up in gps nobody steals them off tractors Never heard of it. Starfire, at three grand a pop or whatever they are, sell them into uh, certain parts of the world. Then, uh, yeah, but this, no. Nobody wants to nick it. <laughs> it's time to feed some cows. Let's jump on the TM and get something done. You guys hungry? So oh, we're on it. The room's just going to come out and uh, open the gates for me. And uh, we'll get most of this feeding done. That's all the cattle fed. And um, before I go though, I want to gauge people's opinions on the price of servicing machines. So this has just had its thousand hour service, which involved, I think, changing the oils in the front and back axles engine oil, various other filters um, on the machine, like cabin filters, engine filter, hydraulic filters, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, how much do people think it costs to service that? So it had a service at 500 hours, now it's had a service at 1,000 hours. What's the price to service that machine at 1,000 hours? Um, because we've had the bill, and we had to ring them up to make sure it was the right bill. So I don't know whether we're just out of touch or or what. So if anybody has actually got that machine, a TM320S, and they've just recently had a thousand hour service, if you would let me know. If you don't want to let me know in a comment, then email me or something. Well, yeah, that, that, I'll tell you. I'll tell you in the next couple of days how much that was. But um, yeah out of this out of this world let us know in the comments what you think it'll be everything's all packed away nicely in the shed my axe and a bucket to um go and chop some kindling or sticks as big mick calls it he's like what's kindling i'm like you know like bits that start your fire oh you mean sticks yeah that's what i mean mick um <laughs> anyway i'm rambling on um if you've liked today's video please remember to press that like button and subscribe if you've not already because um we have got like over half of the people that watch videos aren't subscribed so um it'd be nice if we could get that number uh, number down a bit get a few more subscribers and um and grow the channel which it is growing we're happy with it i really enjoy doing it like i wouldn't be doing it if i didn't enjoy it and if i stop enjoying doing it then i'll stop if you know what i mean but i can't see that happening because it's really has turned into my new little hobby um so yeah thanks for uh, thanks for watching everyone and yeah if you want to support the channel and get any merchandise stuff like that then uh, drillseals.com and make some mentions i've got one i've got one actually hang on hold on so today's mixer mention on the side of the feed mixer 
Uh, it's a happy birthday from Ella to her sister, Edie Ann. And she's four today. Wow. Four's a cool time to be alive, isn't it, being four? So exciting. Tractors, cows, sheep, pigs, all that kind of thing are just like the best thing in the world, aren't they? So thanks for sp spending your time watching us, um, Edie Ann. Brilliant. And thanks for donating to the air ambulance because uh, such a worthy cause, saving lives. Not only, um, I mean, we, we donate to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance, but there's loads of different air ambulances all over the country and they do a fantastic job. So um, thanks guys for supporting it. Well over a thousand pound now. I think we're like 1,300 pounds, something like that. So business. Great Sunday guys. Uh, Andy will be out on that plough tomorrow. Em's back in and um, I might even get drilling. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Great start to the week. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I think I've already said that a million times, Anna. But anyway, bye.